Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to demonstrate to you a plugin called Full Calendar for Filament, which is based on a very popular JavaScript calendar library with the same name of Full Calendar. So you can add that JavaScript Full Calendar as a widget on your pages in Filament. Let me demonstrate you our example, which comes from one of our Filament Examples projects. So we have reservations for tracks, like racing tracks or something like that. It could be appointments for doctors, offices for different doctors or bookings for different hotel rooms. The track is kind of like an item which is flexible. And then you can show that on calendar and also filter by specific room or track in our case. So we have calendar view for the week and it shows that the admin user has reservations for Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, how to install that and how does it work in the code? In the official GitHub of that package, you just do compose require and then you create a widget with make filament widget, which should extend the full calendar widget. And then you can put that widget wherever you want on some page, for example. And this is how we did it in our application. So we have calendar like a typical filament page and then in the view blade of that page, we have calendar blade, which looks like this. A filter on top with filament components, and then we load that widget on that page as a live wire component with selected track passed from here with wire model live. So you have selected track as a property on the page here, and by default, the value is the first track in the list, but then it is passed to calendar widget as a property here, and then it is used as this selected track to query the events for the calendar. Now, how do those events get populated? This is the official documentation version, so you need to have a function called fetch events with fetch info as a parameter, which has all the parameters that you want, for example, info start and info end, if you want to use them, or you can pass more parameters. And then you need to provide some information for each of the event, each of the list item, basically. So this is one of the syntax options, or you can use a dedicated event data class from that package to have a chain of things which makes it autocomplete. For example, you can see what methods are available in your ID. So you can prefer that syntax. So basically have title, start and end, and then return that to array. And this becomes one line in the calendar here this one or that one or that one. Also, you can configure the plugin in general in your filament panel provider. You can have it in the plugin section and for example, set the initial view type, which is day grid week, which is exactly what you see here, but you can set month view, day view, week view or something like that. These options come from the JavaScript part of that full calendar plugin. So some of the stuff is configured in filament layer. Some of the stuff is in JavaScript. And the documentation of that full calendar is pretty long and I advise you to read that. So configuration here, and this is how many things you can configure just on the surface. And there are more features to explore. So I will link that in the description below. You can interact with actions, you can intercept events, render hooks, and there are more tricks here in the documentation of this plugin. And also please read the full calendar under the hood all the documentation as well. What do you think about this full calendar? Have you used that in your filament projects or outside filament? Or maybe you have alternatives to suggest? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.